In this demo, we're going to take a look at the PasteJet API. We're going to first look at the shipments endpoint and a few of the basic tools to get started using the API. So to start, we're going to go under Tools in PasteJet over to Samples. And here we'll click on one of the uh, endpoints. We'll use the shipment once to start. Now notice in the samples for the API, there are uh, there's some sample code up here. Of course, you can code from any application uh, framework or tools that you prefer. Uh, this just gives you a way to run actual code and uh, use the endpoints online without it doing any coding at all. And then there's a request down here where that applies and a response. So we can run each of the different requests and responses in the PasteJet API just by using the samples and that'll give us a sense of the data uh, that we need and how to use it. And then we can go and look at the online documentation to look at the details of the fields that uh, we might need in the various uh, JSON or XML inputs for the requests. So we'll start here and keep it simple on shipments. Now. I'm going to flip this uh, view here to preview mode, which automatically inserts the license keys and the location information just to make the request processing a little bit easier. So we could browse different requests here. We're going to start with shipments. So notice here there's a sample request that's put in. And if we scroll down through it, we can see it matches the location that I'm logged in at. It's got just some basic information like the company. We've got our fictitious shipitfaster.com company name and address. Uh, the destination, again, that's a fictitious company here that we're using in our request. Then we've preset this particular shipment with UPS Ground, just as an example, so it comes in preset. And we actually have some package information here, package details like weight, length, width, height, and so forth. So don't need to do much, just run it, and we'll immediately get a response, which is the URL to forward the application user to if I want to do it that way. So we'll use that, just because we're in demo mode here, to see what that looks like and we can, it'll bring up the application right to the order that we've sent, the shipment that we sent to PasteJet, and we could very quickly just process the shipment, uh, rate and process it here since it's set to preset. The other way to do that, if you don't want to forward the user with a button click in your application, is to use the PasteJet shipping workbench, and then when they come in, they would see that a new order has been transmitted. So you may have your users scanning and shipping and scanning and shipping on a workbench, and the integration is just happening as an asynchronous task. And so you can do it either way, and ultimately a user will end up here uh, in PasteJet. Now notice the details that we sent in through the integration are all here, so the dimensions, weight, and so forth, because we had them in our backend ERP or WMS. If you don't, you can use PasteJet's packing. Uh, all that detail is here, so we can just go ahead and rate and process the shipment, just like normal, and there are many videos on PasteJet uh, to do that. You can see two different labels were created, all the details was processed uh, were uh, updated or summarized here on the shipment confirmation page. Now, that's not the end of the cycle. We've sent a shipment to PasteJet, we've processed it, and our ERP system or other application that we're integrating to is going to need the update information to record in that system for billing and tracking and so forth. So a couple ways to look at it. We're going to look here on the search shipment page for today and Notice how the shipment that I've just processed has an ERP status of new. So as part of the integration of PageJet, there's a way to reflect that your integration has accepted that information uh, back and, and show it to PageJet users. So that's part of the integration endpoints that we can use. So if we look at the uh, shipment confirms area, notice there's two different uh, calls we can make here. There's a get and there's a put. So for the get, if we look at the transaction ID, of delivery order D00123, we can use that in our get. And in this case, there's not a request. We could just update the code sample directly and then run it. And we'll see the details that would be returned. So your application is gonna get uh, details like the tracking number and you know the, the other information. And in this example, we're not gonna talk about paperwork or labels. We're just gonna show you the basics. So we'll start with just a simple response that lets you record all that detail, the tracking numbers, the tracking URL, and so forth in your backend application. Now, as another convenience as part of your integration, you can also reflect back into PasteJet that you've made an update. So if you go ahead and use the put on the shipment confirms, it's gonna tell PasteJet, you're just gonna get a simple success. It's gonna tell PasteJet that that shipment has been successfully updated in the ERP, and you can see here that it uh, reflects that back on the search shipments. So that's a quick look at the shipments endpoint in the PasteJet API.